grace to help. If the Lord does not help a man, no one can. If the Lord does not help you, no one can. Now let's read something from the Bible. Uh, we're going to read from the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 to 16. I'm reading from New Living Translation. It says, So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, he said, let us hold firmly to what we believe. I want you to understand that. He said, let us hold firmly to what we believe. Since we have someone who has entered heaven, so whatsoever you believe, hold on to it. Though it tarries, though it delays, though it's looking as if it's not going to happen, the Bible said that is someone who stands in the presence of God day and night for us. His name is called Jesus Christ. He said, let us hold firmly, believe God. God does not work by our calendar. The Bible said that God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent of his word. He said, has he said it? Will he not do it? He's going to do it, child of God. Believe him. So let us hold firmly to what we believe. Now verse 15 says, this high priest of ours understands our weaknesses. He understands. He knows. He knows your pain. He knows your sorrow. He knows about the sickness. He knows what you're going through. He knows the, the things you've been going through all your life. He knows. He knows. He knows. I want you to understand that God knows. God understands better than your pastor. God understands better than your father. God understands better than your friend. God understands better than your wife, your husband. No one understands you better than God. He's the one that created you. Say, before I formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee. Before you came, he already, he already know, he knows everything about you. He said that he knows, he knows our weaknesses. For he faced all the same things or testing as we do, yet without sin. Now verse 16 says, so let us come boldly because he's aware of everything. He says, so let us come boldly to the throne of gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and will find grace to help us when we need it most. Say, because God understands, because he knows everything, because he knows whatever you're going through, he said, now because of everything, of everything, he said, now let us come therefore boldly to the throne of grace that we may receive that grace let me tell you, to help us in time of need, kind of God, it is grace that helps a man. It is grace that helps a man. The Bible said by strength shall no man prevail. Yes, you've got to do your best. You've got to work hard. Child of God, it's not dependent on how hard you work. It's not dependent on the things you do. That does not mean you shouldn't work hard. That does not mean that you shouldn't do things. No. He said, by strength, when you rely on your strength, your strength will fail you. But when you depend on God, God can never fail you. God has never failed a man before and God will never fail you. I want you to understand that. God does not fail. So let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. So when I come to that throne of grace, I come irrespective of what? Because I know he's my father. I know I'm coming to obtain grace to help me. I'm struggling with this thing. I'm struggling with that thing, child of God. I am coming to the throne of grace to receive that grace, to obtain grace, to help me in time of need. I know by myself I cannot make it. I've tried all I can. I've tried everything. You have fasted. You have prayed for 31 days. You have prayed all night prayer, good and fine. You've gone for programs. You've gone from Lagos to Abuja, from Abuja to Port Harcourt. You've gone everywhere. But there is a place you need to be. It is called the throne of grace. It is called the throne of grace. Now, what is grace? I want you to understand what grace is. Now, grace is the ability of God in inability of man. Grace is the ability of God in inability of man. What your hands cannot do, the hand of God will do for you. What your father cannot do, grace will do for you. The ability of God in inability of man. What you can do, it is grace that, that will do it for you. And I want you to know that by the hand of grace, God is seeing you through. God is seeing you through in that, in that place where you are. God is seeing you through no matter where you are in life today. I make this bold 
declaration that grace of God will see you through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want us to read something. We're going to read the book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 17. Child of God, it was grace that helped Esther. Aha! It was grace. Grace helped Esther. Esther was not the only beautiful girl that the king saw. There were other girls were beautiful, more beautiful than Esther. Now, let's read something. Esther, chapter 2, verse 17. And the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace. She obtained grace. Child of God, it was grace that helped Esther. It was grace. And I see and I make this bold declaration today. The same grace is going to help you. The same grace is going to build you. I want you to know that grace is that force that builds a man. It is grace that builds a man. It is grace that helps a man. Now I want you to understand the Bible said in the book of Psalm 46 verse 1. The Bible said that God is our present help. 